Hello music producers and welcome to this exciting video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to mix rap vocals in FL Studio. So right here we have um, a song that I released earlier this year. And uh, we're just going to be using this to work out how I mix the rap vocals in the song. So this is the rap vocal right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the effect on this to hear how it sounds. I am the first and not the last. I am the head, not the tail. Alright guys, so this is the insert that the rap vocal was sent to. As you can see, we have it on insert 55. Okay, so let me just go ahead and turn the effects back on and switch them off right here so that we can be able to turn them on one by one and see the changes that were being made to the rap vocal. So first things first, as you can see, we have a parametric EQ and this is just to take out the low ends that we do not need and we do not actually want. And then we have Pro Q3, also an EQ. And I just took this to take out some of those harsh frequencies. And then next up, I added um, Nova. This is also another EQ, but I use this um, EQ specifically for DSN. There's actually a video where I covered how to use this plugin to DS vocals. The link is in the description, but you can watch that after. You finish watching this video by the way all right and then next to that we have a fruity limiter for compression i am the first and not the last i am the head not the tail all right and the compression is one topic that we have not actually covered on this channel but we will be covering very soon so please if you aren't subscribed to this channel do well to hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so that you don't miss out when those videos drop and then next to that we have a sound godizer as you can see i just added a very little bit of the a preset to just add that sound godizer effect on the vocal i am the first and not the last i am the head not the tail and then next to that we have a parametric eq again as you can see i usually take out some of the frequencies around this range it was looking too busy um in a way all right so i just use this to fine tune the frequencies and get exactly what i want i am the first and not the last i am the head not the tail so as you can see um i added a reverb right here as you can see the wetness is very very low and also the room size is very very small and there's a reason for this because there's also another reverb that was um, placed on a separate channel as you can see right here but this reverb is to get that small scale reverb all right then we have the larger scale reverb on a separate insert i am the first and not the last i am the head not the tail then as you can see that is that for the main vocal and next up we have this reverb and we also have the delay on separate inserts and uh in the mixer all right so i just um routed um the vocal to this track okay added the reverb and what you want to do when you do this is you want to make take the mix to 100 percent so that those dry vocals don't come in at all okay if you're using the reverb the reverb um, fruity reverb too all you need to do is just take your dry down okay but if you, it's it's always this that knob always comes in in every reverb plugin or every delay plugin you always see something like the mix or something like dry just take it if it's dry you take the dry down if it's mixed just take the mix up to 100 percent so it is 100 percent reverb i am the first and not the last i am the head not the tail as you can see this reverb just adds a little piece of spice and a little bit of space to the whole um track all right and as you can see it's also side chained to the main vocal so that they don't clash all right and then we also have the delay also um and the delay is also side chained um so that they don't clash and affect the main vocal so that at least you can hear what the main vocal is saying i am the first and not the last i am the head not the tail and then basically that is that for the main vocal and then we also have this like i said supporting vocals right here all right and if i'm to turn this on we have this i am the first and not the last i am the head not the tail oh not that i sit with kings dine with the crowns i stand on top can be found on the ground all right so as you can see guys those supporting vocals just makes them um, gives the whole rap more live and makes it sound more interesting and then all together with the entire beat we have this i am the first and not the last i am the head not the tail oh not bad i sit with kings dine with the crowns i stand on top can be found on the ground all right guys so um aside the effects and the processes we've used in this particular video um there are some vocals or some some scenarios where you might want to auto-tune your vocals your rap vocals okay 
And um, I didn't actually use that in this particular song um, because I felt it wasn't necessary to do that. Right? But if that's something you want to know, if that is something you were interested in, in how to auto-tune vocals, do well to check out um, the video showing on your screen right now on how to use auto-tune to tune your vocals. Thanks guys for watching this video and see you in the next one.